so it's been about eight months or nine months since my last day in the life video and I've been getting a lot of requests to do more work vlogs and day in the lives so that is what we're doing today. I also feel like my work from home routine is a little bit different now because I moved in with my boyfriend who is currently upstairs working. He wakes up pretty early to start work. So if you hear click, 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 it is him upstairs. But for breakfast today, I'm doing chia seed pudding. I've shown you guys how I make this in some of my other videos, but it is such an easy breakfast option. And I feel like we always have chia seed pudding in the fridge. So it's always there, but it's about 9.30 now. So I'm gonna finish up my chia seed pudding and then head to the bedroom, which is where my desk is. And sometimes I'll use the loft, which is where James works, but um, usually I just go to the bedroom. It has better sunlight. <laughs> on a team of five engineers and I'm usually full stack which means I work on back-end and front-end code but I recently talked to my manager during our career check-in and I expressed interest in leaning more towards front-end so they did allocate the entire front-end component of the project to me and I am excited to work on the front-end but I'm also kind of worried because we're targeting a one quarter implementation and launch schedule and historically for projects of this size it's taken three quarters and three quarters might sound like a lot but the reason it takes a lot longer for our team is usually we're working with other teams code bases so it's a lot less self-contained and also the launch process at big companies takes so much more time because we need approvals from so many different stakeholders in the project but for some clarity today i'm going to be working on code changes for the project i recently started implementation after i finished my design doc for the front end and i also have a team meeting that i usually don't need to talk in and then two one-on-one -on -one meetings so one with my skip level manager and then another with someone new on our team that is actually going to be helping with a little bit of the front end so I'm going to try to take some time today to also write a requirements document for him to follow as he's working on a subcomponent of the future. <laughs> about you have to do extra work to figure it out or is it like not very good so i've been making a lot of spam asubi for lunch recently just because it's super easy and all you really need is spam rice seaweed an unrelenting desire to eat <laughs> but yeah it's super quick because i marinate the spam beforehand and i usually just have some marinated spam in the fridge and you also just need seaweed and it's so freaking good and i've been eating it for the last three days it's pretty bad for my health but that's okay Also, I recently got this spamasubi mold off of Amazon. So it's been so helpful to make spamasubi because you have to form it into rectangles and that's just really hard when you don't have a mold.
now. And here is our lunch. These are a little bit wonky looking, but I just don't have that much time because it is a work day. And then I added some seaweed salad from Costco. And yeah, I'm gonna take this to my desk because I am slightly busy today. Um, but sometimes I do eat with James, but he's also working upstairs. So off to our desk. I feel like it's easier to use your hands to eat these because they kind of fall apart. But I always use chopsticks, so um, yeah. So I've consistently gotten a lot of questions on what exactly I do as a full-time software engineer and I wanted to explain it in more simple terms so that those of you who are new to tech or just not in the tech industry kind of understand what my day-to-day -day is like. Usually as a software engineer you will be working on at least one project and depending on where you are in the project phase you could be scoping or researching, writing a design doc which is basically a document that outlines the feature architecture or or any proposed changes that you're gonna make or you could be doing code implementation or code reviews which is basically writing out all the code that you need to create a feature and then usually the last step is launch and analysis so launching the feature to users and then doing experimentations or analyses on the results of your launch so a lot of prefacing but I hope that kind of explains what I do in my job So I think I'm gonna take a very quick break. I'm done with all my meetings today, so the schedule is clear. And I usually take like two or three breaks during the day whenever I'm working from home, just so that I don't get too tired or fatigued. And sometimes I do like to do something productive. So today I think I'm gonna water my plants, but other days I'll open like Amazon packages and clean up or just lie in bed and watch TikTok for 15 minutes, but. because I'm not a very heavy coffee drinker. It just makes me really jittery and a little bit uncomfy. So I usually try to stick with matcha. I'm kind of too lazy to whisk my matcha today. So I just am popping in a peak packet um, and then gonna add some water and then make it a cold drink. This is one of my favorite matcha teas. And I do have an affiliate code slash link, but I don't remember it at the top of my head. I'll link it in the description if you guys wanna check it out. My water is boiled. Matcha is now ready. Mm. but something that I love about spring is that it's still bright outside by the time that I end work and that means I can make dinner while it's still bright outside. Sometimes James and I go on a walk before we make dinner but he is unfortunately still working. I think he has a pretty busy day today so I am going to I'm gonna make dinner. I am going to be making crossing bridge noodle. I don't know why I grabbed this but crossing bridge noodle or guo chao mi xie is a Yunnan favorite. My parents are from Yunnan and it's one of 
the dishes that I grew up on that my mom used to make. And I only recently started making this. I didn't realize it was this easy to make, but you just need rice noodles. And then I put in random things. So whatever I have in the fridge, I just throw into it. Sometimes they serve every single item separately when you get it, and then you can just pour it in yourself. Um, I've been to a restaurant where they actually serve it on a bridge, which is really, really cool. But I have Chinese cabbage in the fridge. We have some lettuce, kale. I've also been throwing in mint. Mint is a stronger flavor, so if you don't like mint, don't throw it in. And bamboo shoots. And yeah, that is our recipe. First part of prep is cutting all the ingredients. I'm also gonna boil some water while we're waiting. Crossing bridge noodle for dinner. I have shorts on. <laughs> I like it looks gross. No, it's okay. I also don't have socks on. Oh. Well. It's okay. Wait. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> no free feet pics. <laughs> you wanna watch beef? Let's watch beef. <laughs> beef while eating, not beef. Not beef. Oh, that's what I forgot to put. Uh, episode four. Mm -hmm. So I'm currently packing. I'm actually taking the train and going back home tomorrow, so I need to pack tonight. As you can see, I kind of went overboard with bringing stuff home. I'm also very proud of myself because I managed to pack an entire robot vacuum underneath everything. But yeah, I wanted to spend the rest of the night packing and then also maybe do some editing if I have time. Anyways, let's pack. be a little crazy but i'm going home for a week and this is all i'm bringing i have this bad habit of not bringing enough clothes back home whenever i visit and then i end up wearing stuff from middle school also i really don't have that much space in my backpack so that is also why i'm packing very light but i'm very excited to go home tomorrow i haven't seen my parents in so many months it'll be good to just be around the family again and also my cats my cats are so cute my mom sends me videos every single day and they're just the cutest i just miss having a cat around so so badly anyways i think i'm gonna spend oh it just got really orange in here <laughs> I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the night editing and seeing how much I can get done with my latest video. James is actually at his studio right now, so I have the apartment to myself. Not that it really makes a difference. I think I'm gonna end the video here. This was a casual day in my life, new work from home routine in my life. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you wanna see more of this. I need to be more consistent with posting work videos or work related videos. It's just sometimes I get so busy and I'm just not in the mood to post anything about my work life or my career, but I'm trying to be more consistent. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.